So don't fear the coronavirus. Fear eternal damnation, fear hell and destruction. But Jesus has made a way that you can escape hell. You can escape eternal damnation. The Bible says, how can we escape if we neglect so great a salvation? Hey, nieces and nephews, Uncle Jay here. So my purpose is to come before you and to encourage you. And I want us to walk in that dominion, in that power. Hey, nieces and nephews, Uncle Jay here. Jayonline.store, where you find the best in Christian motivation apparel. I like to just check in with you guys. See if you're okay. I pray that the covering of the Lord, Jesus Christ, His blood is covering you at this moment, at this time. You know, during this corona virus. We all have been affected by it. You know, I have members of my family, their extended family was affected by this coronavirus. And even my own daughter, she had a situation, you know, but God is good even though, even though we go through this, God is good. You know, in Him we live and move and have our being. All things work together for good to them who love God, to them who are called according to His purpose. You know, I look at the birth of Jesus when the angel of the Lord appeared to Mary. She, he said, you're gonna conceive a child and this thing is of the Holy Ghost. Now, her husband, her, well, she was engaged to Joseph at the time and he wanted to put her away when he found out that she was pregnant. But the angel of the Lord appeared unto him and said, don't put the woman or the child away. This thing is of the Holy Ghost and you're gonna bear a son and his name will be called Jesus. He will be the Messiah. He will save the people, the world from sin. And what I wanna take from that is that sometimes we have these plans like Joseph planned to marry his wife, but God intervenes. You know, it's not that it's always bad, you know, but it's for God's glory that God can be glorified in it. You know, I know we make these plans and we might have planned for this summer to go and take trips and, you know, do business exploits and, and, and just live life to the fullest. But sometimes God puts a pause in our plans so his plan could be prevalent, that his plan could come through, you know, his will. And as Christians, that's what we want. We want the perfect and acceptable will of God in our lives. You know, I know we get down. We, we want things to work good for us. We want always to be good. But God has a reason for everything. Like with Joseph, imagine how Joseph felt when he found out his virgin wife was pregnant. That's why he wanted to put her away, you know, but he loved her so much that he listened to the angel. He obeyed the voice of the angel and God was, be God was glorified. Jesus lived, he died on the cross for our sins, he rose on the third day, and he sent the spirit back, and now we who believe in him, we are saved. So imagine if J Joseph went with his own feelings, how he felt, or his plan, and he put Mary away. Back then, when you committed adultery, you was, you was stoned to death. So imagine if Mary was stoned to death, we wouldn't know of the plan of salvation right now. We wouldn't have the spirit of Christ in us. We wouldn't be saved from our sins. So God has a perfect plan for all this. God has a reason for bringing this all about and all things will work together for God's good. Just continue to look up. Just continue to trust him. Continue to have faith in him. He has not forgotten you. God has not forgotten you. He said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. I will be right there with you until the very end. You know, it says, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I don't have to fear no evil. For God is with me. He leads me. He guides me. He makes me to lie down. So God is directing our path. I think about the children of Israel when they was in the wilderness for 40 years. They wandered because of their obedience.
disobedience. The Bible says the pillar of cloud led them by day and the pillar of fire led them by night. When the pillar of cloud stood still, the, the children of Israel were camped. And they wouldn't move until the Spirit of God moved, until that cloud moved or the pillar of fire moved. And maybe God has us on this pause and we must camp and seek the Lord. And when the Spirit of God moves, when we see the pillar of cloud move or the pillar of fire move, we can begin to move in the things of God. All things work together for good. I just want to encourage you, keep looking up. You know, Jesus loves you. He loves you more than anyone else can love you. The Bible says God so loved the world. He loved us so much that he came and he died for us. And the Bible says whosoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. Even though you're going through this, that's the most important thing is that you are saved. Yes, you know, the coronavirus is out here and if you do get it and if something does happen to you, are you saved? You know, Nicodemus came to Jesus at night to, to talk about the things of the law, but Jesus stopped him in his track. He said, verily, verily, I say unto you, except a man is born again, he cannot see, he cannot even enter the kingdom of God. So that's the most important thing. Even though we're going through whatever we're going through, are you saved? That's the most important thing. Have you been born again? The Bible says that the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus. We're all born in sin. We're all shaped in iniquity. It's none righteous, no, not one. We all are like sheep and have gone astray. But the Bible commend, the Bible says God demonstrated his own love towards us and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. So God loves you so much that he came and he died for you. He sent his only begotten son to die for your sins. Would you accept that today? So don't fear the coronavirus. Fear eternal damnation. Fear hell and destruction. But Jesus has made a way that you can escape hell. You can escape eternal damnation. The Bible says, how can we escape if we neglect so great a salvation? Jesus has made the way for you. All you have to do is believe and accept his death as your death. Ask him to forgive your sins and come into your life and save you. And you can be saved right now. Yes, you have to be baptized in Jesus' name and, and follow what God has commanded us to do. But the first step is to be saved. To make sure that your name is written in the Lamb's book of, book of life. That you won't be lost. That if you die, you won't go to hell. Jesus said, for this purpose came I into the world to save that which is lost. That's the only reason Jesus came. The only reason why Jesus lived, he died, and he rose again. To save sinners. And we're all sinners. Would you accept Christ right now? Would you be born again? I hope you do. I encourage you all, just continue to pray for me, and I'll continue to pray for you. Continue to look up because our Redeemer draws near. And always remember, head always up. Make sure you check out my free ebook, Book the Path. It contains five life lessons to success. Information how to get that is in the description box. And make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification and like and share this video. You guys have a blessed day and always remember, head always up.